from the King Sacrifice YouTube chess channel so today I'm here with a chess video on an irregular chess opening that is the wear opening so it is also known as the middle hay opening it is an uncommon chess opening starting with the move e4 it is named after Preston Weir who was an US chess player he is best known today for his unorthodox chess openings so as I said the first move is going to be a4 and the point of playing this move is to bring out the rook earlier into the game and if white is playing with an experienced player then he is getting a common reply like e5 which is stopping the rook to playing on the a3 square so this is a variation that starts like d5 knight to f3 and this is a variation that is called the potato variation <laughs> funny isn't it so the point of playing this move is to wait and see what the opponent will do next and this can also transpose to the king's indian attack setup so a4 e5 and here white plays a5 d5 and black will just try to gain more space on the center so the next move white will play is e3 f5 a6 so this variation is known as the wear gambit so the point of playing this move is to create an open file for the rook in exchange of a pawn so in this video i've also prepared a game that was played between Magnus Carlsen and Taimur Rajapov in the World Bliss Championship in 2012. So it went on like this a4, e5, e4, knight to f6, knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, which was transposed to the 4 knight defense, bishop to b4, bishop to b5. Castles, castles, d6, d3, bishop to g4, knight to e2. And now here, if black bishop will take on the f3 square, then white will obviously take it with the g pawn. And the idea of playing this move is that white will play the move king to h1, trying to give the rook some space so that he could turn on the g1 square. And attack to the king also the bishop is also eyeing on the king's side he can also bring his knight from g3 to the f5 square so which is going to be a uh, attacking game <coughs> so let's look what happened in the game knight to e2 and a6 was played so bishop took on c6 b, b took on c6 Knight to g3, knight to h5, h3, knight takes on g3, f takes on g3, bishop to d7, g4, bishop to c5, check, king to h1, queen to e7, queen to e1, f6, knight to h4, trying to come on the f5 square, so black prevents it by playing the move g6 and now here white plays the move bishop to f6 rook to f7 so this bishop is gonna do a great work because it is not going to allow the another rook to come on the f8 square so white plays rook to b1 bishop to b6 b3 d5 knight to f3 rook to e8 Queen to g3, bishop to c5, rook b to e1, d takes on e4, d takes on e4, bishop to d6, <coughs> rook to e2, c5, 
knight d2 bishop to e6 queen to d3 attacking the a6 pawn and black here just totally ignores that pawn in order to trap the white bishop by playing the move g5 but here white takes on the e6 pawn and black here plays king to h8 trying to bring the e8 rook to the g8 square so that it would come on the g6 and trap the bishop so here white played the move knight to c3 bishop took on the knight queen takes on c4 rook to g8 h4 g takes on h4 g5 rook to g6 and rook e to f2 and now here after this move black resigned because as you can see the pawn on the a4 has become a passer and will march on the board up to the a8 square and promoting to a queen also the rooks on the f2 and the f1 square are i on the on the f5 so it is going to be very bad for black so you can play this opening as a fun so this is all about today's video so if you have subscribed our channel thank you very much and if you haven't just go ahead and subscribe it also do not forget to hit the like button so thank you for watching and see you on the next video